guys, it's Remy the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 286 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume that you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. A large university begins a 13-day period during which students may register for that semester's courses. Of those 13 days, the number of elapsed days before randomly selected students has a continuous distribution with a density f of t that is symmetric about um, 6.5. It's like a, and it's proportional, this is proportional to 1 over t plus 1. So that means there must be some value, like a constant, that is it's multiplied by. Okay, I'm actually going to write it like this, t plus 1 minus 1. And so it, that graph looks like this, right? And then it's scaled up by some constant k, right? At 6.5, it reflects down because it's symmetric. <laughs> Sorry about that weird graph. Okay. And this, so then, and then we're trying to find the 60th percentile. So like this part right here, 60th percentile. Okay, okay, let me show you. So we know that this, this first, first part right here has to add up to, or it has to be 0.5. Because this whole thing right here should, the, um, Integral of that should be equal to 1. So then half of that is just half. Is Yeah. So integrating from 0 to 6.5, this will be equal to natural log of t plus 1 times some constant k. Integrating from 0 to 6.5 equals half. So then this is equal to k natural log of 7.5 minus natural log of 1 is just 0. So this is just that equals half. So then our constant is just equal to 1 over 2 natural log of 7.5. Okay, so then the next part is where we actually get into the, the problem. The problem asks, um, a resist, um, student registers at the 60th percentile of the distribution. Calculate the number of elapsed days in the registration period for the student. So that they're saying, find this part, x, um, this val value x60 such that the integration of that is equal to 60%. So we can also think of it like this. We can think of it like going from 0 to 6.5 plus some value 6.5 to this value 60, which should add up to 0.6. Okay, so we know what the right side is, but we just have to figure out what the left side is. Because we know it's metric, whatever value is at 0, is, it has to be the same at 13. And so whatever the value is at 1, it has to be the same as 12, and so on and so on. And whatever the value in the 6.5, the probability distribution has to be exactly the same since it's um, a con continuous case. Okay, it says it right here, continuous distribution. And so at, when t is equal to 0, the probability distribution function is equal to 1 over 1 right since the function is 1 over t plus 1 so what would what can we plug in to make the 13th side the denominator equal to 1 as well well we can plug in 14 minus t that would equal 1 over 14 minus 13 which is just equal to 1 my other choice is I could also have like let's say 14 or 12, wait, t minus 13, um, t minus 12, because that would also be 13 minus 12, and that will be equal to 1. But there's not really any other options except these two. So how do we narrow it down? So this is a big help from Mark and E. Iceman. Thanks for helping me figure this one out. Big shout out to you. But, so, another thing you have to think about is that 6.5, when t is equal to 6.5, the denominator has to be a constant right constant over this is equal to 7.5 since the function is k over t k over t plus 1 right so then what value would give you a 6.5 at 6.5 the denominator is going to be equal to 7.5 we can just check it out here i need a little bit more space so i'm going to copy this down or move it down a little bit okay so then what well, value okay so if I plug in let's say t is equal to 
50 is equal to 6.5 with the first equation 114 minus 6.5 is going to give you 7.5 so then we know that works well how about for the other equation if it's equal to 6.5 minus 12 so that gives you a negative distribution this gives you negative 5.5 so then the, the 1 over t minus 12 disagrees at that 6.5 mark so then we can eliminate that and we can say that this is equal to the second part of the equation is equal to 1 over 14 minus it's proportional to 1 over 14 minus t since we said it was proportional to 1 over 14 minus t we just have to figure out what the k, t is what the k is just like we did for the other side and this is also equal to half going from 6.5 to 13 okay well this is just equal to negative natural log of 14 minus t times k integrating from 13 to 6.5 equals half so this is equal to negative k times natural log of 1 which is a 0 minus minus that's positive k natural log of 14 minus 6.5 well that's just equal to 7.5 equals half oh look at that the constant is the same who knew <laughs> okay so then we have both sides so we can just plug it back into our equation that we had initially this equation right here okay so the right hand side is equal to um 0 to 6.5 our constants 1 over 2 natural log of actually I'm going to factor out the constant out 1 over 2 natural log of 7.5 the whole thing times t plus 1 negative 1 plus 6.5 to the 60th value and this side is just 14 minus t negative 1 this is both integrating in respect to dt and this whole thing is equal to 0.6 alrighty alrighty if I integrate this sucker out, oh, here I go. Then this is just equal to natural log of t plus 1, integrating from 0 to 6.5, plus um, natural log, mm, this is actually minus natural log of 14 minus t, integrating from 6.5 to 60, which is equal to 0. 0.6. All right, all right. If I plug in those values, natural we get natural log of 6.5, minus 0 um, minus not minus minus natural log of 14 minus x60 minus minus that's positive natural log of 7.5 okay I messed up here this should be 7.5 as well and this should be equal to 0.6 all right so then if I add those two values together that's 2 natural log of 7.5 minus natural log of 14 minus x60 equals I'm gonna bring this constant to the other side this constant to the other side so that's 0. 0.6 times 2 natural log of 7.5 you see where I'm going hope so so then I'm just gonna solve for that this value right here so I get 2 natural log of 7.5 plus minus minus 1.2 natural log of 7.5 equals natural log of 14 minus the 60th take the e of both sides so I can cancel that out and we have then I'm going to bring the x60 to this side and then keep the 14 on the other side so 14 minus e to the 2 natural log of 7.5 minus 1.2 natural log of 7.5 let me type this into the calculator real quick and this is equal to 8.9875 which is approximately equal to 8.99 which is your answer C if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise make sure you like subscribe and share and again big shout out to Malcolm Iceman thank you again so much for helping me out bye